Hi, welcome to my channel, Emmy Reacts, where I'm watching TV shows and movies for the first time. Today I'm continuing my Breaking Bad journey with the season one finale, episode seven, titled A No Rough Stuff Type Deal. With dashes, A No Rough Stuff Type Deal. Coming off the back of a wild end of the last episode with Walt kind of finally, not finally, but like transforming into this new like drug lord character guy with his shaved head. He exploded a bunch of things at the end of last episode. And I feel like really came into like, so yeah, like into this space, which is funny because at the beginning of the episode, he was all like, since he got back into wanting to cook the drugs with Jesse, he was all, I'm just cooking this stuff. You're in charge of the selling, the distributing it to people. I don't want to touch that part of it. I just want to do the chemistry. But then by the end of the episode, he was like, I'm here. I have a shaved head now. I'm the boss. Give me the money or else. Which is good because when Jesse tried to do that, he got he got beat up real bad. So we don't want him. Well, maybe he gets better at it too. I don't know. But it just wasn't a good situation for him when he tried to go to the scary distributor guy. Distributor guy. Loved seeing that like shift in Walt. And like I said, I really think he shaved his head because of the chemo treatments and He's also not doing great because of that whole situation, but I feel like that, like, helped him, like, feel more badass a little bit, too, and, like, feel ready for taking on this new persona to be what he needs to be, and he made bank, too, with the amount of the the drugs that he was given to the guy and that he's going to be working with him now, and I think the guy, like, respected him, too, because he was, he thought that the exploding was cool. I don't know, I just feel like it was like kind of a turning point for, for Walt in his like journey here. So super excited to see where season one wrap things up, wraps things up and then like sets us up for season two and the rest of this journey. Also, the DEA is definitely like sniffing around, closing in on already the gas mask that they found from the site from the first episode came from Walt's school and all that stuff. So I'm curious to see how that continues to play into them trying to figure out who this new like meth drug lord is when it's just Walt this whole time. But his brother-in-law is not convinced at all that he had, would have anything to do with it. It was just kind of like a funny juxtaposition of what's going on there. So yeah, just super excited to get into the finale episode and see where things go. So let's just dive in. I can tell you we take this very seriously. Stopping the manufacture and sale of methamphetamines remains one of our highest priorities. And the theft of lab equipment from your school. Was this like at the school? No stone will go unturned in our search for the person or persons responsible for this. Oh, there he is. Do you have any questions? You're talking oh, about you haven't caught anybody yet. Oh, it's like a school meeting. What about meeting? the janitor that okay. was dealing drugs at the school? There is no indication that this individual was selling drugs in oh, his Oh, that car. poor janitor. Not I forgot about that. Yeah. This guy was still the lab equipment, right? No. That's not our oh. thinking at this well, time. We're does he feel bad? Also Are you saying there was a break-in? Do we know exactly when this happened? This I mean, is uncomfy. We're talking inside job? Someone who's still at the school? Walt? Sir? This like... This is like turning awesome him on? I'm sorry, officer, but that just sounds <laughs> like double talk. This is really changing <laughs> him. Oh, interesting. Walt, how far you've come in a short amount of time. Oh, he just, yeah, he does. Okay, I was gonna say, does he feel bad about what he, the issues that he's causing? No, he does not. He's honestly, like, getting off on it. Walt. <laughs> Mr. White, he's made a very special effort to be with us here. And Skylar. <laughs> this is too much. <laughs> Could you please tell us more about the equipment that was taken? Yes. <laughs> She's all stressed or hot and bothered. The inventory list for the missing lab wear is as follows. One 5,000 milliliter. Yeah, he knows exactly what it is because he flask. took it all. One, some, is this funnels, them after the uh, meeting? Oh. Are they still on the school grounds? Guys, wait till you get home. <laughs> uh, where did that come from? And why was it so damn good? He likes breaking the rules. Uh. It was illegal. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Walt likes the danger. I see. I see what, what's happening here. That's funny. So if they hadn't found that mask, it wouldn't have led them to the school like this. It was really just that. Oh, back at Jesse's that pole. The basement. Unfinished, of course. But just look at all this space. You gotta think. Oh, was he selling it? 
Just imagine all the things you could do down here. Oh, like kill someone. Now remember, you're buying for this fantastic neighborhood. Walking distance. It is a nice neighborhood. <laughs> it needs more, it needs nice people. It's a bit of a fixer upper. What happened there? Bit of a fixer. But this house has great bones. Ooh, is it like sticky? Oh, I'm I'm here to see the owner. Oh, he's in the um, recreational vehicle. <laughs> is he gonna live in there now? Oh yeah. No, how's he... it's appointment only. How's he doing after being beat up? Oh, buddy. Listen, I, I visited you in the hospital, but you were asleep. Yeah, Skinny Pete said he wanted a Tuku's address. Oh, he doesn't know what happened. Obviously, he wised up. No, I did go see him. Bullshit. Yeah. So what, are you selling your house? I can't even take a proper dump in there. Yeah, oh, it's too much. I mean, the whole damn stress. house has got to be haunted by now. You didn't actually go see Tuco. You sure did. Yeah. You got this money from Tuco. Yeah. yeah. You made a deal? You see what he did to me? Because I think that we can do business together. No way, man, okay? No understanding. <laughs> take a look at the money in your hand. Now, just imagine making that every week. You told this insane ass clown, dead-eyed killer, that uh, we would give him two pounds a week. Now we'll just scale up our operation. We'll add a few more hours. No, don't we'll... talk to me about he has time hours. If he's what about on leave? pseudo, man? How are we gonna get that? Do you need God, that? God, it takes me a week to get this stuff. See, that's the bottleneck in your uh, brilliant business plan. All right. Wait, how was he making it before? He wasn't using just are. like straight chemistry. <laughs> I don't get how to make meth, and that's probably a good thing. It must thing. be, what, six, seven months? His, his color is better, you know, his energy. And uh, he's even more um, physical. Physical, yeah. More physical. <laughs> Sexual. <laughs> um, I mean, that's got to be a good sign, right? Sure, I'll take that. <laughs> right, Walt? <laughs> he does not like her talking about this. Working. I've been wondering about alternative medicine. I mean, Eastern healing. Anything that helps my patient have a better outlook is fine by me doesn't make any real difference. Having a better outlook can make a tremendous difference. Yeah, having a good mindset. Oh, look at that hat. <laughs> looks like a cartoon character. Let me guess, you uh, you picked this place? This is like uh, a non-criminal's idea of a drug meet. But it might not be suspicious then. I don't know, uh, how about Taco Cabeza? Nice and public. Oh, you want Open it to 24 be hours. Public? Nobody ever gets shot at Taco Cabeza. True, yeah, you want witnesses around. Skip the part where psycho lunatic Tuco, you know, comes and steals my drugs and leaves me bleeding to death. Or were they meeting up with Tuco? I guess he did blow up his, um, like, meeting place before. Oh, he's so worried. I guess he got beat up last time. I'm worried for him. Look, you don't have to be here for this. Nah, I'm no pussy. <laughs> a little nervous. I'm good. Man, that car looks so fancy compared to all the cars in the junkyard, obviously. Mr. Clean and his boy. Mr. Clean. <laughs> he does look I'm like Mr. Clean. I'm sorry I had to tune you up. Respect, I said you gotta give it to get it. Oh, buddy. Uh, that's it? That's all you got? We had some production problems. 0.53. You told me two pounds, and now you waste my time with these chiclets? You make me nervous. Do something cool, Walt. Oh, okay. 17 and a half. Minus the half for wasting my time. Okay, yeah. I want all of it. Well, I just, why? I mean, he it, it's good to like grand. show he's like say? a big guy. You like this product and you want more. Consider it a capital investment. Oh, Walt. 52 and a half, 25 points big. Big interest weekly. Okay. Two pounds next Friday and no production problems. Are you gonna be able to do it? I have to drive all around, I get the... Can you handle four so... pounds? Walt! <laughs> talk is talk. Owing me money, that's bad. Walter White, what are you doing to me, man? You're causing me so much stress. And Jesse. What did you just do? That's right, what did Four he just pounds. do? We're talking two, three hundred boxes of sinus pills. Yeah. There ain't that many Smurfs in the world. Why do they call them we're Smurfs? We're not going to need pseudoephedrine. We're going to make phenyl acetone in a tube furnace. Oh, yeah, use And we're going to use science. reductive amination to yield methamphetamine, four pounds. So no pseudo. No pseudo. Oh, see, I knew there was probably so a way a to plan. do it. Yeah, Mr. White. <laughs> Mr. Yes, White. Yes, science. <laughs> I'm like Jesse in this. <laughs> uh, getting some of those items may be challenging. 
40 grams thorium nitrate. Yo, Mr. White, I can't even pronounce half this shit. Mr. Oh, Did you call Mr. White the whole time? Because I like right, that. I'm leaving town. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Okay. What are you doing? This is the first day of the rest of your life, but what kind of life will it be, huh? I don't know. Listen, these things, we need them. Okay. And only you can get them for us. I just Walt doesn't want it to sent anywhere around even getting the items. Is that why he's wanting him to do it? That's right. Oh, is this the baby shower? Hi, baby. I have a Such a fancy now. dress for a baby shower. <laughs> Welcome to your baby shower. Esmeralda. Let's say the name of the baby Esmeralda. Esmeralda. There you are, Esmeralda. Wake up. Is it actually Esmeralda? Esmeralda? That was like a nickname of mine. Easy. It was my first um, um, believe it or not, Esmeralda, username. Right after the party, your oh, name it's was not. Okay. Holly. My first username and aim was Esmeralda. Holly? Is that the the name? Daddy! Speak, Daddy! Gosh, she's so Holly. hyped for this baby shower video. Holly, I am very proud of you. I think about you all the time. Oh, stop. <laughs> now everyone's getting emotional about it, too. Whatever, whatever you do in life, always know that you have a family Aww, who loves you it. very, very much. I have a habit for crying in finale episodes Cheers. of TV, Cheers. so just yes. warning. Look at those little feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. From me. Stop oh. that, Walt Jr. And Hank. No. A fancy-ass bracelet? Or is it it's a... A tiara? Yeah. A oh. Baby tiara? Oh. oh. White gold and several carats worth of zircons. Oh, Marie. That is so impractical. Have. It's a strange oh. gift. Yeah, anything stronger than beer. You sweet. Thank Mama, you. also really oh. curious to see that tiara Sorry, on a baby's head. I got uh, just a thing to go with that. It's a nice, like, dad thing to do for a baby shower. Smoke cigars, very, I'm like... I'm sorry, man, I wasn't thinking. No, 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 oh, it's okay. I guess he can't do it, though. You might if I have one. Well, maybe he can. It's, like, a very, like, old-school, like, dad's in the waiting room with the cigars, you know? Cuban. And it also goes mm. with the whole drug lord vibe that he's got going on. <laughs> now, I was under the impression that these were illegal. Hmm? <laughs> Sometimes forbidden fruit Are they? tastes the sweetest, doesn't it? Cuban cigars? They're illegal? It's funny, isn't it? Why? How we draw that line. What line is that? What's illegal and what's not? Well, what's legal, what's illegal. Yeah. You know, if we were drinking this in 1930, we'd be breaking the law. Another year, we'd be okay. Mm -hmm. It's like the whole marijuana mm -hmm. topic. Who knows what will be legal next year? Yeah. You mean becoming... like pot? Oh my gosh, I'm like predicting everything right now. Like pot or whatever. I mean, I don't think meth is ever gonna become legal. I Cocaine. hope not. Well, that stuff, yeah, pot is a different thing. Don't want to go one way either. Some now do stuff that's legal that shouldn't be. Friggin' meth used to be legal. Used to sell it over every counter at every pharmacy right. across America. I forgot about that. The guy that came to their senses on that one, huh? Yeah, that one is crazy, sir. Yeah. Walt, I don't support you selling it or making it, but it's an interesting story, so. A white gold tiara for a newborn baby. A wild present. <laughs> I think I'm gonna return that. Maybe I can explain to her that we need a diaper change. Seriously, that's so much more practical. They do this Navajo sweat lodge up by Farmington. Healing ceremony. It's supposed to be good for your lungs. Mm. Really? Mm. You in a sweat lodge? I was thinking about driving up on Friday, coming oh. back Sunday. Was it, it just well, an excuse okay to get him that. away for a weekend? Sweat lodge? Yeah. Are they actually going to go up to it just to avoid suspicion? Uh, 70 millimeter tube furnace, excellent. This crap wasn't easy to get, and it's expensive. I don't see the methylamine. Well, half this crap I could just buy, right? But this methyl mine, not so easy. I mean, they got it locked down tight. What is that even? But I did find some pros who will rip it off for us. If they want 10 grand. I mean, I got like two grand left. I told you all this crap was expensive. Oh, I gotta spend money to make so these money. Thieves, they got guards and security cameras. They got steel doors. That's why these dudes are charging so much. What? Are they thinking about doing it themselves? What is that? Mm. That just sketch? So why don't we just steal it ourselves? With this. What is that? Was it an extra sketch? Thermite. Was it like. Mm -hmm. And that will cut through a lock. Uh, oh. Because this is supposed to be one big ass lock. The, um, World War II. Mechan not mechanical. The Germans had an artillery piece. It's the biggest in the world. And hitting a target accurately 
23 miles away. Magnetic, that was the word I was looking for. I mean, you could drop bombs on it every day for a month without ever disabling it. Drop a commando with just a bag of this, and he could melt right through four inches of solid steel and destroy that gun forever. That's crazy how he knows all this stuff. It is from the store, isn't it? Oh, yes, it's from this store. Uh, do you happen to have a receipt? No, I don't. It was a gift. Just uh, Mr. Wilson, could you step over here, please? Store credit then or something? I'd like you to watch this lady while I phone the police. Whoa, excuse me? Ma'am, this item is stolen, as I'm sure you know. What? It Come with me, please. Her sister stole it? What the hell? I, I told you, that tiara was a, gift. Her a, a baby shower gift. So who gave it to you then? She don't want to rat our sister out? I think out? I have to tell you that. Ma'am, you don't have to tell me anything. You can what? talk to the police. And I can tell them how my daughter-in-law remembers showing this particular item to a tall blonde woman who, when her back was turned, walked right out the door with it. Did well, we really steal it? Then I can talk to the woman. Channel 3 News. Innocent, pregnant woman in a dank storeroom. This is my office. I feel I'm being held hostage. <clears throat> I'm not getting enough air back here. I'm going into labor. <laughs> yes, I... <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Did that work? Did she just give it back and then? Where is the guard? He's supposed it? to be coming by. The hell is this? That's all they had. Can you go to another store? If this is all they had, you're in the wrong <laughs> place. Let's put it on. <laughs> Look at their little winter hats. <laughs> what? Look, what? He's not supposed to come back. What's he doing? Let's go to the bathroom. He's got his crap. <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing? You locking him in? Oh, I feel like this is gonna end poorly. Do they have cameras around to catch them doing this? Oh, is this the thing is that's gonna to melt? We'll find out in about ten seconds. Stand by. Oh, yeah, Jesus. Did it work? Wow! That's handy. Oh, well, there's an alarm. What's going on? Oh, he's trapped in the bathroom. Where are the gallon jugs? Let's just take this. Come on. It's gonna take a whole thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god, they're moving so slow. <laughs> That's so funny. Well, they got it. I guess that worked out fine. Yikes. Man, they need to get a better truck thing. Go ahead. Okay. We're <coughs> gonna oh, flood the engine. No. No, 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 that didn't sound good. Oh, God. Yeah, no. Nope. We're not cooking in my damn driveway, I tell you that. Are they really gonna do it in the basement? Does he, he doesn't have any more showings, does he? You're a real estate agent. When is she supposed to come back? Yeah. I'll make damn sure she does it. She's not like outside right now, is she? What's happening? Is she doing like an open house? Oh, no! He would have she would have to tell the him temperature steady at 425 degrees oh my god that's so stressful four and a half pounds puts us forty four thousand dollars ahead right on yes. the amount of methylamine that we got last night we can make four and a half pounds a week for, for the foreseeable future oh, okay well, do you how leave her is, a uh, message that gonna be how much cash do you need more are there people upstairs <gasps> someone's in the yard Shh. Oh my god, uh, I hate this so much. Oh my god, there, there's kids inside! Don't go downstairs, don't go downstairs. She, it's a kid gonna go downstairs, oh my god. Was there by any chance scheduled for this oh afternoon? God, Jesse. An open house? I left her a message, man. It's not my fault. I don't care how you do it. Just keep them out of here. Do you understand? Yeah, basement's closed off for the, the day. Oh my god, this is stressful. Oh my god, did she just steal stuff? I don't, that's right, she sold those shoes before, didn't she? She's just a stealer. Girl, you you can't do that. You get other people in trouble. I have never been so humiliated in my life. That tiara. Yeah, she's gonna steal those earrings, didn't she? They accused me at Zachary's of shoplifting it. Why would you return it? It just was- Who wants a baby tiara? Come on, who's right. your brain? What is wrong with you? Can you please tell me that? <laughs> Can you tell me yeah. why you do such a thing? I can't really admit to something when I have no knowledge of what it is that I'm admitting. Her sister has has some issues, don't she? There's some there's something going on. Especially when your husband works in law enforcement. Don't forget to sign in. 
Does it smell? Can you smell the meth? The dogs are barking. They can sense the meth. Yeah. Just like to see the basement. Yeah, well, it's occupied. What's the big deal? Go. You ain't seen the basement, bitch. You got that? Is that sinking in? Now beat it. All you all, house is not for sale. Get the hell out. Oh, okay. That's, I mean, that's a way to do it, I guess. Kick them all out. Is he home from the sweat lodge now? They finished their cooking. Okay, that stressed me out. But no one got downstairs to see the meth. My dogs are still upset about it, too. What's that smell? Oh, yeah. In sacred Incense or something? Herbs. Yeah. Wow, she's better than me. I would be asking a million questions. <laughs> like, what was it like? How much did you sweat? What did they do? Everything okay? Tiara that Marie gave us? Yeah. She stole it. I mean, she refuses to admit it. She refuses to apologize. I, I don't know what to do. People sometimes do things for their families. He's sympathizing and would that with justify her? stealing? It's not the same situation, Walt. If it were me, what would you do? Would you divorce me? Would you turn me into the police? I mean, she didn't turn her sister in either. Like, wouldn't say who it was before, so no. You don't want to find out. <laughs> But it's also not the same caliber of what he's doing. But I still don't think she would. Ooh, they did, they did the thing. Look at that, look at all that. We use a different chemical process, but it is every bit as pure. Maybe blue, but it's the bomb. I can't believe he doesn't write up his nose. Ah, oh, blue, yellow, pink, whatever, man. Just keep bringing me that. He looks <laughs> so funny with the hat. And what did I say, man? This guy can cook! Well, now he's happy. Okay, good. All right. All right, we're gonna make a lot of money together. Just remember who you're working for. Calm down, guy. What did you say? Oh, he didn't like that. You don't be the Are one to say anything. Are you saying that they're stupid? No, I'm just... I'm just saying. So I don't understand. Are you saying that I'm stupid? Nah, come on, Tuco. I'm, I'm just... Trying I'm just saying. No, you're people. just speaking for me! Yeah. Like, I ain't got the goddamn sense to speak for myself! Oh, he didn't like you man. saying that, man. Is that what you're doing? Tuco. Kiss. Tuco. <laughs> what to kiss? Hey, why don't we all just uh, relax, huh? Oh, well, I don't think that's the right thing to say. <laughs> oh, is it? Heisenberg says relax. I mean, he does need to relax, so that's good advice. I'm relaxed. Nope, that's the wrong thing to say. <sighs> okay. Yeah, he should have just let him handle that. Oh, no. Is he going to kill him? That's messed up. Yeah, it is. Was it the meth? Okay, Heisenberg! Next week. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I don't think he killed him at least, but yikes. This, this, this business is so scary. Oh, man. They are making so much money. Yikes. Wow. Is that where the first season was supposed to end? I feel like I, I think someone said, either in the comments or something that I read, that the first season was cut short um, because of a writer's strike that was, or some one of the strikes that was happening back then. It, it feels like it makes sense to end it there because it's like, you know, they're officially starting this business and they, you know, have their in with this crazy distributor guy. They have their process and everything like that. But it also does still feel like there could be more episodes in this season or not. But like it all, it kind of still flows and, and works as a season finale, I guess. But it's not like as big as like a finale usually would be, I guess. But still good. Um, so super stressful when they were in the basement cooking and the open house was happening. Yikes. Super interesting to see drug Walt in full effect. Drug Lord Walt, I should say. So that's wild. The whole sister shoplifting thing is a really interesting storyline that I'm interested to see where they go with that and how that evolves because I already thought she was strange lady anyway and now adding this into the mix with her husband being who he is and all that stuff is interesting going back to walt though real quick at the beginning during the parent teacher meeting at the school talking about like the meth stuff and the how they're going to be handling the break-in and the stealing and the janitor being fired because of what they found and everything and that like make turning him on and wanting making him want to be like all frisky with, with his wife is such a cool interest not cool but like interesting character development that you can see that he's like this is causing excitement for him and helping develop this new persona for him of, of kind of where he's evolving to but there's still like some aspects of him clearly he's not like fully there yet that we saw in the last scene with him telling 
uh, to go to relax on that guy and just like how it affected him when he was punching him out and all that stuff. So definitely still more evolutions to come there. But thoughts of the first season, I really, really loved it so far. And I know it's just probably going to get more intense and crazy to come. I like to hand out Emmy Awards after each season as well. It's because my name is Emmy. It is only fitting. And I think I'll probably be giving an Emmy to him a lot, but I really do love Jesse and Aaron Paul playing Jesse. I mean, I feel like it goes to say that, like, Brian Cranston as Walt is, like, genius. And I think he did win a bunch of awards for playing him, right? I'll maybe look that up after I've been watching the whole series because I don't like to look up too much stuff about it during it because I don't want to get any spoilers accidentally but I just already feel so much for Jesse and I like I'm, I'm like protective of him and just want the best for him and want him to be okay and like help him and stuff like that and Aaron Paul does such a good job of bringing the like humanity and depth to that character and we just want to root for him and help him along which is really great but then like I said Brian Cranston is just a, in a whole class above it's him like he's an amazing actor and we always knew that and I knew that going into this he was going to be amazing and I'm excited to see his evolution continue with the the Walter White character but yeah I was I didn't know too much about Aaron Paul going into this and I don't think I've seen him in anything else so really loved his his take on the Jesse character so also excited to see them together and where they continue to go but yeah, love the first season, excited to start season two and see where we continue to go with these characters. Hope to see you back with me for season two. But in the meantime, as always, thanks so much for watching with me. Bye.